the expression f of x is equal to 6x cubed plus px squared plus qx plus 2 is divisible by 2x minus 1 and has a remainder of 2 um, when divided by x minus 1. So here's the deal. Let's focus on this part first. We were told that it is divisible by 2x plus 2x minus 1, which means that if I should take 2x minus 1, if I should set that to 0, solve for x, where x is going to be a half. If I should evaluate, f of, of a half, then it will equal to zero because it's a factor, meaning it's divisible. Uh, so we're going to set up that to get one situation. The second idea is that when x minus one was divided into the expression, we get a remainder of two. So then if I should find what x is, and in this case, you're seeing that the x is equal to one, so in this case, if I should evaluate f of 1, I should get a remainder of 2. So that's the premise on which we're going to base what we're going to be doing No. So let us proceed by looking at uh, f of a half. So then, let's go. So I'm going to evaluate f of a half, right? f of a half, so we're going to have 6, and then we have a half raised to the third px, x is a half square um, plus q, x, x is a half, and this is plus 2, and this should equal to 0. All right, so let's continue. 6, um, a half raised to the third is going to be 1 eighth plus p, a half square is 1 quarter plus q over 2, which is a half q, plus 2. Now, if this is equal to 0, let's continue working. So basically what we have here, if I should cancel the 6, I'll have 2. If I use 3, I'll get, if I use 2, I'll get 3 over 4. So I'm writing 3 fourth plus p over 4 plus q over 2, and this is plus 2 over 1. All of this is equal to, to 0. So basically, what I want to do is just to kind of develop uh, two equations here with p and q. I want to get rid of the fraction, so I'm going to multiply it throughout by 4, right? So I'm going to multiply everything by 4. So it has to not have any fraction. So I'm going to multiply this by 4. I'm going to multiply this by 4. This by 4. That by 4. And that by 4. So what we're looking at now is quickly, um, the 4 would have canceled. So I'm going to have 3 plus the 4 cancel there plus P. We cancel even 2. This is 2Q plus 8 equals 0. So I'm going to keep my variables on one side. So I definitely have P plus 2Q. And if I add the 3 and the 8, that's 11. On the other side, it's minus 11. So this is equation 1. Where do I get the 11 from? 3 plus 8, that's 11. And then on the other side, it's going to be a negative 11. So this is equation 1. So what I need to do is set up, get the second equation, and then we'll see or we'll proceed from there, meaning I'm going to evaluate f of 1, um, understanding the remainder is going to be a 2. So here it is. I'm going to have 6, 1 to the third plus p times 1 square plus q times 1 plus 2, and this is equal to 2 because the remainder was a 2. All right, so 1 to the third is still 1, so we have 6 plus uh, p plus q plus 2 is equal to 2. All right, so this is 8 here. This 6 
plus 2, that's an 8, which means um, P plus Q is going to equal to take the 8 from both sides. So we actually have 2 minus 8. So this is a negative 6. This is my second equation. So I have two equations now. Um, I could solve them simultaneously in an effort to find values for P and Q. So here it is, situation 1. P plus 2Q is equal to negative 11. P plus Q is equal to negative 6. So what I could do now is just to subtract. So this is equation 1, equation 2. I could just subtract quickly. So I could just employ a subtraction there. So P minus P, this is a 0. 2 minus uh, So I have a Q. So 2Q minus Q is a Q. And then negative 11 minus a minus 6. This becomes plus. So Q is equal to negative 5. Now, having known that Q is negative 5, I could substitute that in any one of these. For example, P plus Q is equal to negative 6. And if I substitute negative 5 for Q, then P, this is going to be plus, this is a negative 5, which is equal to negative 6. So basically, I'll be adding 5 to both sides. So P is equal to negative 1. I could write my solutions as follows. P is equal to negative 1. Q is equal to negative 5. So there we go. So 